many of us like to have our top navigation pinned to the top of the browser so that way as we scroll down the navigation stays on the screen and our viewers don't have to scroll back up to find it now in the past Muse hasn't made this very difficult because everything else on the page would go on top of your navigation but we got lucky in the update I believe it was 4.0 point something one of those updates we got a new option where we could right click and we could tell that object that being our navigation to come to the master foreground so that way on every page it would stay on top of everything nothing could slip on top of our navigation on accident now in Adobe Muse CC which is the 5.0 release uh, we lost that that is missing altogether but they want us to do it a different way because they've introduced this new feature the layers palette so really what this is all about now it's very very simple you just need to create a new layer uh, I've got a layer 2 already so I'm gonna create a layer 3 for myself and uh, I can even double click and call this navigation layer and because it's layer 3 it's on top of all the other layers so now all I need to do is highlight the objects that I want to stay on top I'll give it a right click and I'll say move to layer navigation layer my bounding box is changed to be green that helps me tell stuff apart and I make sure that it's pinned up here it is pinned to stay in the center and at the top of the browser and when I preview it now we are a-okay it's now staying on top um, I didn't really show you guys what that looked like before but I'll hit undo a couple of times and with everything the way it started if I were to preview this in the browser see everything's going on top of our navigation so it's all about the layers palette now they took away one option but they gave us a much more flexible and more usable option so don't forget about that layers palette with your navigation alright please subscribe if you enjoyed this video I've got more coming